The melt delivery system of an injection mold consists of the sprue, runner, and gates. The purpose of the melt delivery system is to deliver molten plastic with a uniform consistency to all cavities in the mold. The temperature, shear rate, and viscosity should be identical between all cavities so all parts fill, pack, and cool evenly. That way, all the parts come out of the mold with the same properties. Simulation is a great tool for optimizing your melt delivery system. In this video, you will learn why element type in the runner matters, how to analyze your runner design with Moldex 3D, and how different runner designs can affect your parts. The runner is often neglected when discussing plastic part design. It's very important though for making sure that all the plastic that enters each cavity is properly prepared. The runner needs to be geometrically as well as shear balanced in order for the material's viscosity to be consistent between cavities. Simulation is a very powerful tool for optimizing your runner system to ensure proper geometric and shear balance and in simulation, element type is critical. We want to be able to see temperature, velocity, shear rate, and viscosity results in high resolution through the entire runner system. That's why it's important to have a 3D mesh for the runner system rather than beam elements, which are one-dimensional lines connecting two nodes. They have a cross-sectional shape assigned to them and can be used to represent any beam-shaped feature such as runners, gates, cooling channels, or even circular part features. Since flow is assumed to be symmetrical about the axis, imbalanced flow due to shear heating may not be picked up. That's why Moldex 3D uses hexa elements for line-defined runner systems. Each element has eight computation nodes, creating a highly organized, high-quality mesh that allows us to see complex changes that the material is experiencing as it flows through the runner. The 3D mesh allows us to pick up on shear rates and changes in temperature as the material flows around corners, through thin sections, and across long flow paths, allowing us to understand the root causes of our unbalanced molds. So now that we understand the importance of a 3D mesh, how can we analyze our runner systems using Moldex 3D? The path length tool will show you the distance melt travels between the melt entrance and each gate. The length should be exactly the same for each gate if the runner system is geometrically balanced. In this case, we are comparing an X runner layout to a bracket layout. The X design has a shorter flow path, so we can expect those cavities to fill up first. Let's use the melt front time animation to confirm that. This feature shows how the melt flow advances through the mold, so you can see which gates are reached first, and then how the cavities fill. As expected, the cavities on the X layout side do fill first. This creates the potential for the parts on the X side to weigh more because they will be packed out for a slightly longer time. The clipping, slicing, and ISO surface tools can be used for further inspection. The clipping tool hides sections of the model so you can see inside. The slicing tool shows slices of the part for a big picture view of what's happening at the core of the part. You can show multiple slices in each direction. And the ISO surface tool shows all of the elements with a specific value. The slider at the upper left hand corner of the window is used to adjust that value. You can find hot spots by sliding to the right and cold spots by sliding to the left. From all three of these tools, we were able to see that the material is hottest when entering the four inner cavities, causing them to fill faster than the outer cavities. Since hotter plastic has a lower melt viscosity and it takes less pressure to push, it is able to flow faster than the cooler plastic in the outer cavities. Since there is a temperature differential across the cavities in this mold, the parts will likely shrink and warp differently. Volumetric shrinkage is controlled by the PVT or pressure volume temperature relationship that you see for each material in the material wizard. If different cavities are at different temperatures, we see that the amount of volumetric shrinkage is going to be different as a result. Now that we know what issues we have in our runner, we can make changes to the design to address the root cause and then run another simulation to confirm that the new design solved the problem. So to summarize, Moldex 3D is a very powerful tool for troubleshooting injection molding problems before cutting steel. Different runner designs can be compared without the cost and lead time of machining them into a real mold. In addition to saving money and time, it also allows us to optimize our part quality, which keeps our customers happy. If you enjoyed this content, do subscribe to our YouTube channel for tutorials and follow us on LinkedIn where you'll find information on training and other upcoming events.